Here we go again, welcome back to my channel Medicosis Perfectionalis. The channel is expanding and growing more and more thanks to your support and watching. So, let's talk about duodenal atresia in a mnemonic. Coming up. So first, for the boards, time matters. The question describes a baby with a problem in the GI tract. And usually they will give you a time frame, for example, at birth or one day or a one year old baby comes in with like maybe some um, abdominal pain, um, vomiting, uh, nausea and stuff like that. So if you know the time frame, you will answer a lot of questions correct. This is not like laws of physics. These are variables can be at birth. Or maybe like um, can extend to one day but usually most of the time most of the cases will be according to this time frame so Hirschsprung disease and tracheoesophageal fistula will present at birth another name for Hirschsprung disease a ganglionic mega colon duodenal atresia first day and this is the subject of today's video first day of life Pyloric stenosis, first month. Volvulus or intussusception, both of them will present around one year. Meckel's diverticulum, around two years, usually less than two years. And remember, Meckel's diverticulum has the law of twos. Everything is two. Two inch, two years of age, etc. And now to the mnemonic. But first, of course, you know that duodenal atresia has vomiting, and the vomiting is usually bilious. It has bile in it. Contrast that with pyloric stenosis, which occurs here in the pylorus, and the vomiting will be without any bile in it. Why is that? Because the bile duct opens here, in the second part of the duodenum, exactly in the postrum medial aspect of the second part of the duodenum, to be exactly correct. Okay, so this kind of atresia, because it's here, so the bile duct has already opened here, so when the baby vomits, the food will go to this and it will be contaminated with bile. Keep this in mind. To the mnemonic. Duodenal atresia, D, day one, D, associated with Down syndrome. On x-ray you will see a double bubble. Now why is that? Because let's say that this there is that constriction, okay, atresia. So what will happen is that this part within will enlarge. Why? The pressure is increasing. Food and bile are accumulating here, so this will enlarge to be a bubble, okay? This is bubble number two. Where is bubble number one? The normal bubble your stomach. So bubble one and bubble two, double bubble duodenal atresia. How to treat duodenal atresia as we treat any obstruction in the bowel? Usually we give IV fluids. Why? This baby is not getting any food through. Next, nasogastric tube decompression. Let's get a tube through and let's remove all of the stuff here. Next, surgical duodenostomy. Let's open this surgically. So that's said for duodenal atresia. Duodenal atresia, day one, associated with Down syndrome, double bubble appearance on x-ray, treat with IV fluid, nasogastric tube decompression, and surgical duodenostomy. I'll see you in the next video.